Okay guys, uh, kind of a very impromptu video. I've noticed that the, uh, the red zebra female has began spitting a couple of her fry out. I'm going to try and locate them here. They're so tiny. Uh, there's one right there. Right there in the middle screen. Gotta try and get up. There he is. Wow. So she's been holding these babies since the 27th of April. And there is the first one that came out. I'm going to check over here and see if she's getting ready. It's kind of hard to get that other little filter in there. I usually leave them in there so they can seed and I can put them in other tanks. So. But let's see if I can relocate that. There he is. He or she, I'm not sure. But, uh, first baby. I've seen another one also. I'm not sure where it may be. There it is, up in the corner. No, that's not. It's a piece of plant. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Very exciting. My very first African cichlid breeding success so far. Just waiting for her to let the whole bunch of them loose. And stick on here for a few minutes and just keep an eye and see what happens and hopefully we'll see a few more of these babies coming out so that poor girl can finally eat she hasn't had a bite to eat since probably April 26th it's a long time to go without food I tell you I wouldn't want to do it uh, that's why they say that stripping the uh, females when they have a mouthful after a couple of weeks is usually a good idea. I might try that the next time. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I kind of don't like the idea of, you know, holding on the fish and then gently prying their jaw open and trying to release their, their fry. It seems a little, a little invasive. I like the natural way. I mean, this is the way they do it in nature, so you know, just let nature take its course here. Let's see if I can find that baby again. I'm looking for it. Hmm. You're so tiny. It's hard to think of any number of places in here. I might not even be seeing it. You might you guys might see it before I do. There he is. Wow. I put some uh, finely crushed flake food. I don't have any uh, baby brine chip. I've never done that yet, but I'm put some very powderized flake food. I'm hopefully that we might eat a little bit of that. I ordered some first bites from Hakari and that should be here in a couple days. Hopefully not too late. But uh, yeah, wow. Oh, there is two. Uh, uh, I think I see another one back there. Back behind the heater. How's she doing down here? Let's so you can get something to eat. I'm going to put you in another tank so you can get your strength back up. So I can put you back down and you can do it again. Oh. It's like a tiny little miniature. I mean, they've already got a little bit of color already, even at that tiny age. A little bright, light-colored orange. Red zebra. Exciting in my fish room today. I tell you, this is a big deal for me. I know a lot of you guys out there have a lot of experience with uh, African cichlids. You'd be like, meh, <laughs> no, not a big deal. <laughs> but when it's your first, it's always an important one, you know. So I'm happy about this. Very, very happy. So what I'm going to do is instead of trying to wait for her to drop all these... It's going to happen probably later today, and I will try and post when they, when there are more. Wait, and she's turning around here. Maybe she'll do it now. Uh, when she releases more of them, so we can see a bunch of these little guys, I will, uh, I'll post another video on it and uh, share it with you guys. So, great news. Let me get a picture of her face over here. Maybe she'll... 
She's not ready yet. She'll let them go when she's ready. Okay, guys. Um, if, uh, if you're enjoying this footage, please uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I always appreciate a like button. And please leave me a comment. And I will get back with you. Uh, I'll respond to every comment that I see as soon as I possibly can. So guys, have a great day. And I will be showing, uh, hopefully later today, the, uh, the rest of this video. Once she releases. Stay on her for just about 10 more seconds. There she goes. She just spit a couple out. There they go. Ah. She's letting them, she, she let them out and she's taking them back in now. Wow, perfect timing, girl. Well, there's a couple, a couple more. Spitting them out and she's taking them out and let them back in. She let a couple out there and left them. So she's still got pretty much a mouthful. Well, she's trying to, trying to protect them. She's taking them back in. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm, this is cool to me. Wow. Oh, take it easy, girl. Take it easy. I'm still over there. I'm still out and about. I just hope she doesn't need them once you get to let them all out. I'm going to move her out of here and then raise the babies up. Okay, guys. Well, I, I guess uh, what I will do then, uh, now that we've seen her release some of those babies, which was very uh, fascinating to me, I will show you when there are more and then when she leaves them out. When she feels that they're uh, big enough to fend for themselves, that's when she'll let the rest out. And she's, oh, she still wants to pick that. She doesn't think. You should know that I'm not a threat. I'm the one that feeds you all the time. Or I did until you stopped eating when you got pregnant. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to let you go, and I will see you later. Pelham's Aquatics, an exciting day in my fish room, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.